Hello all, welcome to Edifying Insights. In this video, we are going to learn a chapter from Standard 4 EVS 1 textbook. In the previous lesson, we have learnt the interrelationship between the living things. But the basic need of living thing is food, air and water. So today we are going to learn chapter number 3, Storage of Water. This lesson begins with a practical activity which you can perform. Make a small hillock of mud and stones in the schoolyard. Set some stones into the hillock. Pour water over the hillock from a watering can like rain. Use the following points to study how the water flows over the hillock. Children, we all know that rain is the main source of water. But when rain comes, what happens to that rain water? We are going to observe that by doing this practical experiment. In which direction does the water flow? The water flows from the top of the hillock to the bottom of the hillock. How does the water flow on the steeper slopes? The water flows rapidly on the steeper slopes. That is, the water flows very fast on the or steeper slopes. How does the water flow on the gentler slopes? The water flows slowly on the gentler slopes. Where the slope is not very steep or not very deep, the water flows gently. What happens when the stones cause an obstruction? When the stones cause an obstruction or when there are stones in between when the water is flowing, some of the water changes its direction and flows rapidly in the outward direction. Some of the water flows gently through the stones. Where do puddles form? Puddles are formed in a low-lying area around the hillock. When does the direction of flow change? The direction of the flow changes when there is an obstruction in its way. Now children, stop pouring water over the hillock and observe what happens to the water which you poured already. Why did the hillock dry when we stopped pouring water? The hillock dried because the process of absorption of water stopped and absorbed water seeped into the hillock. How long did the hillock take to dry? The hillock took nearly 15 minutes to dry. Which part of the hillock dried quickly? The part of stones of the hillock dried quickly. Which part took longer to dry? Part of mud took longer to dry. Why did it take longer to dry? More amount of water was seeped into the mud. Therefore, it took longer to dry. After doing this experiment, what we understand is, you will realize that some rainwater flows away over the ground. Some water seeps into the ground. All the water we get comes from the rain. The rainy season lasts for 3 to 4 months. Along with us, all living things use this water all year round. If we do not store water, we will not have enough water for our needs. That is why we have to save water. Water must be used economically. In this lesson, we will see different ways of storing water. Children, as we all know, rain is the main source of water. All living things, human beings, animals, plants, we all depend on rainwater. We get rain only 3 to 4 months a year, but this rainwater has to be used throughout the year. For that, we need to store the rainwater properly and use it carefully. Now, let us understand the olden days method of storing water or the traditional method of storage of water. In the olden days, several methods of storing water were used in our state. Nowadays, these old water stores are rarely used. However, their remains can be seen in all places. Some of them are very beautiful. Water in some of these stores never get depleted. 1. Wells Some rainwater seeps into the ground. Wells are dug to obtain this water. 2. Water tanks in forts. People live on the hill forts in the past. They also needed water. The forts had reservoirs and tanks dug into the stone. 3. 
draw wells in the past draw wells were dug to get drinking water they were small wells from which water was drawn using a small pot tied to a rope atpadi in sangli district had a draw well in every wada the draw wells had water all year round when the tap water system was introduced the draw wells went out of use many were sealed now there are very few left in atpadi this can be seen in many villages number 4 rivers and bunds other nor masonry bunds were built across rivers to store their water old reservoirs reservoirs were built in areas of low rainfall or in areas without a major river most of the reservoirs were built using stone or mortar 6 old tanks earlier tanks were used to store water some large cities still have these old tanks some of them are still in use these were the six traditional methods of storing water now children there is a question for you you have to find out what solution will you give to this question savni and amaya get tap water in their house as a result water from the draw well which had been used since the old days is not used any longer because of this grandmother is upset suggest how savni and amaya can use the draw well water for purposes other than drinking savni and amaya are getting tap water for drinking so they can use this draw well water for the following purposes other than drinking that is it can be used for gardening it can be given to animals to drink it can be used for cleaning the house washing clothes etc as years pass new methods and new techniques are introduced in every field like that in storing water also new methods are introduced so now let us understand them one by one number 1 dams the most important of all recent water storages is the dam dams made it possible to store huge quantities of water as a result more land was brought under cultivation cities began to grow it became possible to set up factories and generate electricity Maharashtra has several large dams such as Jaikwadi, Koina, Ujni, Eldari. Jaikwadi dam is built on River Godavari, Ujni dam on River Bhima, Eldari dam on River Purna. Number 2, bore wells. Earlier wells were dug to reach the water under the ground, but it was not possible to draw deep seated ground water. Now with the help of electric pumps it is possible to do so. Bore wells are dug for this purpose. These wells are very deep but very narrow. These are the two modern methods of storing water which helps us to get rain water throughout the year. Pan poi it means drinking water stands. People out on the roads need water when they are thirsty. In some places big clay jars of drinking water are kept for the use of such people. This water is offered free of charge. This is known as pan poi. Pan poi's are set up by individuals or institutions. Pan poi's are very useful especially in summer when you are walking on the road and you feel thirsty and if you find a pan poi near you you can go and drink water freely there is no cost for it you don't have to pay anything you can drink the water freely we are in the state of maharashtra it is surrounded by many forts most of the hill forts are built by chhatrapati shivaji maharaj so while constructing these hill forts he gave certain instructions to the people let us see them now a fort or hill fort should be built after first finding out if there is water in the place if there is no water and if it becomes necessary to fortify the place then by breaking the rock reservoirs and tanks should be built one should not wholly depend upon the supposition that there is a spring water in the fort and that is it would somehow or other supply enough water for storing water 
two to four reservoirs should be constructed water from them should not be allowed to spent the water in the fort should be well protected these are the precautions or the instructions given by shivaji maharaj to the people before constructing the hill fort now children we have come to the end of the lesson so let us revise what we have learnt in this lesson we have seen that storage of water is very very important the whole living thing is depend on the rain for the water for the whole year also we have seen the traditional method of storing water and modern methods of storing water water is a natural resource all living things need water we must keep this in mind when we use water we must inculcate certain good habits in order to use water economically that is do not unnecessarily waste water while brushing teeth or taking bath do not waste water while filling jars buckets tanks etc inform immediately about the leaking taps or leaking buckets to the elders children with this we complete lesson number 3 storage of water if you want the question answers to this lesson do let me know in the comments then i will upload it if you found this video useful like and share it with your friends and subscribe to edifying insights